Welcome to the Lenten Luncheon. My name is J.D. Ambrosio. Today, our focus is going to be Psalm 62, verse 1. Let's read. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. Let's read that again. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him alone comes my salvation. In the original Hebrew, it could be read, in silence, my soul waits. Have you ever waited for something? Have you ever waited for something in silence? Silence is difficult for us, isn't it? Especially in today's day and age. When we're confronted with silence in our lives, how do you react? Do you immediately try to fill the void created by that silence? I know I often do. Sometimes if I experience too much silence in my life, it feels uncomfortable. So I try to fill that void with other things. What's on Netflix? Let me check my phone, see what everybody's doing. Let's read the news. Let's watch something on TV. Let's find something to fill that void so we don't have to face the silence in our lives. But I want to point your attention to the example of Jesus. Immediately after his baptism, Jesus retreated into the desert, into the wilderness. In other words, he was silent. He embraced the silence. So what happened in that silence, in that wilderness, in that desert? Well, Jesus was confronted by temptation. Just like we're tempted to run away from the silence in our lives, Jesus himself was tempted three times. He was tempted to turn stones into bread. He was tempted to do something amazing. He was tempted to take power for himself. So what did he do? Well, he denied those temptations. He rejected those temptations. He quoted God's word to fight those temptations. And he embraced the silence of the desert. Why? Why did he do that? Let's think about it. So something we probably need to turn our attention to is what happened right before Jesus entered the wilderness. Well, he was baptized by John the Baptist. And when he came up out of the water, a voice was heard coming from heaven, in which God said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. That's a big event. That's a major moment in Jesus' life. He goes out into the desert following that moment. Why? The desert represents silence, waiting in silence. So what does that mean? Jesus went into the desert to process that moment in the silence, in the stillness of the wilderness. Have you ever had an experience? And having that experience, you just moved on to the next thing. I think we do that too often in our lives. We have an experience, but we don't take the time to think about the meaning of that experience. There's the experience and there's the meaning. It's by entering into the desert, as Jesus did, Entering into the silence, embracing the silence, 
welcoming the silence into our hearts so that we can find the meaning. In the silence, we can contemplate the experience that we've just had. I think the silence allows us to embrace the meaning of our experiences. You don't want to have an experience and completely miss the meaning. Silence gives us the opportunity to go after meaning in our lives. So this Lenten season, as we're heading towards Passion Week, towards Easter, to celebrate the resurrection, I want you to think about silence in your life. How can you cultivate silence in your life? Henry Nouwen, a renowned Catholic priest from the Netherlands, once wrote this, silence remains indispensable today as it was in the past. The word of God is born out of the eternal silence of God. And it is to this word, out of silence, that we want to be witnesses. So this Lenten season, take time to be silent and to listen and to wait. Think about Psalm 62. Again, Psalm 62, verse 1. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. I hope you all have a blessed and healthy Easter season.